the superb bird of paradise. Whoa! So the male bird makes a dance floor by sweeping away dirt and branches. And then it calls to the females. I heard it. It was loud. And when they come, it goes into its dance. They snap their tail feathers. It sounded like snapping fingers. Wow, look at that. Now that's a rainforest dance. Welcome to the Rainforest Art Show. Hi! Floggy! Please! Now, Lily! Step to the left, bounce to the right Strut like a bird of paradise Sway like a palm tree in the breeze Do the rainforest dance with me Step to the left, bounce right, hooray! how we strut when the music plays Sway like a palm tree in the breeze To the rainforest dance with me is fast, but so are the gazelles. I think I got the cheetah's whole run. Let's check out the footage in slow motion. The cheetah picks up speed so quickly, and it accelerates just like I did. Look at its leaping strides. Its claws help it grip the ground so that its feet don't slip around when it runs. It says here that the cheetah's claws stay out all the time. They never fully retract. It's the only cat that does that. Let's see what the speed tracker says about how fast it's going. It was running as fast as a car driving on a highway. Zoom! Now that is fast. Cheetahs are amazing runners. Plus, I like their faces. Those black marks under their eyes are cool. Those markings are called teardrops. They help keep the sun from glaring in their eyes so they can see where they're going. You know, I think I'm ready to try another run. I put black under my eyes to block out the sun's glare. I'm stretching so that I can take long strides. And my shoes have spikes like claws so that I won't slip. Ready? Time to run like a cheetah. Go! your fastest time ever! Way to go, Lily! Thanks, Willow. Thanks a lot for helping me learn to run faster, Cheeto, buddy. And now I'm gonna do something else that cheetahs do. What's that? Lay down. <sighs> yep, they're the biggest snakes in the world. They can grow to be as long as a school bus. That's big. Do they bite? No. They coil their bodies around their prey and drag them into the water to eat them. Cool. But no swimming with anacondas. Absolutely yeah. not. No. How about here? It looks beautiful. No giant otters, no electric eels, no anaconda. <gasps> Ooh, fishy, fishy. Little fishies. Piranha with the sharp teeth that can eat whole animals super fast? Yes, but these red piranhas bark to warn other creatures to stay away from them. Woof! 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 Cute otters that don't want to play? Eels with electricity? Giant anaconda snake that squeeze their prey? And barking piranha fish? The Amazon River does 
doesn't seem like a good place to swim. Yeah, but this is where they live. Their home, not ours. The Amazon belongs to the creatures that live here. Sorry, Lily. Oh, I don't care about the rain. If only I could find some place to swim. If I could just find one place, any place to go swimming today. Well, how about this? I was working on the robo umbrella, but then it started to rain and it turned into a swimming pool. Yay! Thank you, Willow. Cannonball! Who wants to play? 